በስማአብ ወወልድ ወመንፈስ ቅዱስ አሐድ ወአምላክ የዮሐንስ ራይ አይሁም እነሆም አምበላይ ፈረስ ወጣ በአርሱም ላይ የተቀመጠው አቀስ ተነበረው አከሊልም ተሰጠው ድልም የነሻ ወጣ ድል ለመንሳት this is very interesting right here in uh, behold behold a white horse let's begin with scripture first basma ab wa wald wa man fas qudus ahadu amlak ye yohannes rai ayhum nahum ambalay faras wata ba arsum lay yatakamta wa qasta nabaro akalil ma tasatta dilm ye nasha wata dilla lamen shat The scripture says this it says and I saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given to him and he went forth conquering and to conquer Revelation chapter 6 verse 2 As the first of four horsemen Kedus Johannes holy John he mentions to us a white horse in his vision of prophecy in his rai given to him be exiabir now that white horse was given a crown or power to go forth conquering presumably the world the white horse probably represents a man like peace which will be forced upon the world by the antichrist under the guise of religion or religiosity and righteousness it will be a false peace which will not stand or better it will be a pax romana that won't stand now today there is an organization in the world that has as its very logo a man riding a white horse and has set about conquering the nations of the world via military banking judicial as well as of course political means now this organization subscribes to the belief or can we say the faith because actually it is a religion for them though they may claim to be atheists they believe in this that they are alone and only they are the ones qualified to bring in the kingdom of heaven so to speak to earth through their plans and their orchestrations do you know this organization do you know what this stands for have you seen this before many people now know that organization as the CFR or better the council on foreign relations but do you know the history of the rider of the white horse in the late 1800s british aristocrat cecil rhodes and his close friend and associate alfred milner had dreams of uniting the entire world under the british government funded by his vast investments in gold and diamond mines in northern africa roads organized with the same goals to achieve this plan this maab wa walad wa manfas qudus ahad wa amlak 
يا يوهانس الرعي عيهم انهم ام بلاي فرس وطا بارسوم لاي يتقمطوا وقس تنبروا اكليل ما تسطوا دل ما ينشا وطا دل لمنسات 